Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get around the problem of not having the Protect Sheets and Ranges option in Google Sheets. So normally you could select a range of cells here, go to Data, and you'll have an option to Protect Sheets and Ranges. Or if you click on the arrow here, you'll have an option to Protect Sheet. But you can see here that we don't have that option. And the reason for that is because this is an Excel worksheet open in Google Sheets. So if I go to my drive here, this is what I'm working on, financialsample.xlsx. So when it's in the Excel format, you do not have that option. So what you could do is go to File and Save as Google Sheets. All right, so now it's just called Financial Sample instead of Financial Sample XLSX. And if we go to my drive here, let's refresh this. I just saw it actually. Right there it is. And so now we have two copies here. So that's one downside is you're going to have two copies. So if you're going to be using this exclusively in Sheets, you might want to do the conversion and then forget about this one or delete it. And then, of course, you could always save this as an Excel file later if you need to go back to Excel. All right, so now that I have it in Google Sheets here, I could select a range, go to Data, Protect Sheets and Ranges, do what I need to do. And then if I click on the arrow here, I also have the Protect Sheet option. So it's kind of a bummer that you can't use this feature when it's an Excel spreadsheet and you have to convert it to Google Sheets. So once again, just go to your Excel file, File, Save as Google Sheets. It'll save it in the same location within your OneDrive folder so you'll know where it is. And then you can edit it from there and do what you need to do. And there are some other features as well that are not available for Excel spreadsheets. So if you run into this problem where you're missing something, that might be the case as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.